Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, today we're going to do a full workup on those grass fields that we have, starting with spreading lime on that one, because now that it's harvested, I think it will take lime. Uh, I'm going to test that anyway. And then I want to see how much it'll cost to upgrade our cultivator. We have four thousand nine hundred and fifty one dollars but we have silage that's fermenting so we will have a little bit of money oh tomorrow um i also want to mulch the grass fields before i cultivate just because i think we can get that plus two percent and it's only two percent but we have a mulcher we have that knife roller so might as well do that so I'm going to spread lime, um, I guess spread lime, mulch, cultivate, and seed if everything works properly in that order. Which one was lime? It was the little guy that we're borrowing, right? I think it was this thing. Do you have lime in you, sir? No, you've got nothing in you. All right, we can get lime. It was one of these back here. I know it was. Which one of you has lime? I'm going to go with the little one. No. Is that not in the right spot? Apparently it wasn't the little one. Or there's no lime in there. It's a big one. Hey, there's something in here we can put in it. Yes, there's the lime. That's not going to be nearly enough. Oh, it'll fill this up, though. Okay, so I'm going to go get at it. I'm going to spread this lime, come back, grab the knife roller, go and mulch everything, and then see about upgrading the cultivator and see if I can make it just a little bit bigger, because if we can, it'll be worth it. Cultivate that whole area, those three fields, turn them into one field. And then reseed it with grass and potentially spread fertilizer. It might stay at a fully fertilized state. We'll find out. But I will do all of that with a quickness. And then I'll see you when I'm done with that. And we'll see if there's anything else we're going to do today.
to the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you that's that done so I've had plenty of time to think as I was sitting here doing this field work and I think I've adjusted our plan a little bit instead of buying this lot to start our logging on I think I want to bite this one it is two hundred thousand dollars less but it would give us a good access point anywhere in here because what I want to do is I want to buy these two fields here eventually turn this all into grass and then I want to buy these fields here as well and keep these as crops but then we could use this as an initial landing so I was thinking about it and it's like there's no good access point other than to our right at our farm to these woods to start with um and i'd like to leave some around our farm so what i think we'll do is eventually buy this start logging on this side maybe even get a lumber mill of our own at some point a sawmill but that's well in the future yeah we're gonna i'm gonna end up buying all this land here first and then saving up the money to buy this and equipment to start logging it. And then once we've got this all logged, then we can have a landing right across the road to begin with to start breaking into these woods. Yes, I think that'll work out well. Uh, this turned out to be a lot of field work, but now we don't have to do all that field work on the grass again. We'll have grass that's mulched and fertilized and rolled and we'll get the best yield we can those strips that um let's see what didn't get mulched i think all except for yeah a couple tiny little spots so that's fine so we'll leave it like that and then when we harvest we'll get as much grass as possible off of there I brought the headlands as close as I could to the hedges because if it's all grass, it doesn't really matter. You don't need much of a headland. We'll just cut as close as we can and call it a day. Oh. 
And so now we're not going to have to do any of that work again on those fields. It'll just be harvest and roll. Put that away. We can hook this to the silage trailer. I think I want to sleep and sell this silage. We're going to be well in the hole tomorrow because our loans and property maintenance and stuff is going to come out. And I've spent all of our money. So I want to hook this up. And then I want to go to bed and get till tomorrow and then sell that. I think that there's nothing else this other field needs, right? No, it's fully fertilized. It's good to go. So let me go to bed. And we'll go sell the silage. It's probably, oh, it's at 27%. So hopefully when we wake up in the morning, it'll be ready to sell. Oh, it's pretty dark. Yeah, we're $1,000 in the hole right now. So let me uh, advance the day a little bit. Let's see, is this even silage yet? It is. Okay, so it's all silage. So give me just a second and then we'll get going. Okay, now the sun is well and truly up. Let's see, where are we going to sell this? Was there more than one place? Oh, do, 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 do. Prices aren't excellent, that's for sure. No, they're not. 357. Yeah, that's not too bad. So, where is our bales market? Tag you. Let's look. Oh, it's right down. Oh, near the farm. Nice. Yes. So, I think this is going to work out well with um, the plan, the roadmap. Using using the fields to further fields for silage by those extra two so that we have like a block of fields right there we'll combine them and then the fields on this end that we'll be using for crops i'm not sure i don't think we're going to combine these maybe we will but not right away i'm going to um try to do it with the fields the size they are that way we can grow a variety of crops so we have uh, stuff to do throughout the year instead of one day a year harvest and one day a year sell is this our turn or do we gotta go to the next one uh, looks like it connects we can probably turn in here do do had that sign as the animal dealer right here yeah it looks like oh and there's a collectible nice let me jump down and get that I'll make more on the collectible than i will on the silage and yeet there we go five thousand dollars for the collectible very nice i didn't see how many we had left i hit the button too soon Okay. I like the I like the design on this map of all the different various spaces. I think they did a really good job. Oh, is that another collectible over there? I think it is. Let's sell this and see what we get first. Do, do and unload $34,910 worth of silage put that away let's run over here I think in this alcove yeah it is so collect that's another 5,000 there are nine more harp oh so it's not just the thing it's each individual style It'd be nice if there was a spot that told you what you have and haven't collected yet like a list is there under to do, do, do this collectibles collected eight out of a hundred wow okay well there's a lot more collectibles on the map to be found wonder if they're progressively better hidden you get a few at each spot 
where you can easily see them and then some of them are like oh yeah out in the middle of the woods under a tree where you would never go I don't know I'm not going to go hunting collectibles but I am definitely going to keep my eyes open for collectibles is this all that land that I was thinking about purchasing are we next to it already I think we are oh no so that side so this is the one eventually we'll get that's the one I'm working towards. I want to work towards. That's a lot of woods. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then, like I said, oh, there's a collectible right there. We get it. Are we going to be tall enough? Ooh, we're going to get run over. Oh, not quite. wonder if I hit the button right as I jump. No. Try one more time. No. All right, we'll have to get a taller something over here to try to get that. But we will be over here later once I buy that. Um, What was I saying? I don't know, but I think that's a good... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. I think that'll be a good plan because once we are harvesting on that side and we buy this side, we can use like this low spot right here as a landing on this side to start accessing that side until we can make a landing over there because right now we'd have to work in the road basically to get ourselves any good decent area at least for a little bit plus this side's more expensive so we'll go with expanding our land so we own this whole strip and then buying the, the woods that are right next to that strip and all that yes that is our long term road map for this uh, for this playthrough let's park this in here and now that I got rid of those tractors I could probably park those implements inside somewhere too I'm not going to do that right now though what I am going to do is park this right there and then I want to look at those other fields and see which one we're going to try to buy next so I think we have several months before we need to harvest anything because I don't think these are growing right now I think it's winter time oh it's already Maybe it did grow, but I don't think it's going to grow to the next stage until spring. So, farmland. Probably one of these little guys. 26,000, 36,000. So we could afford either of those. 55, 47, 50. So, basically, every harvest, because we should make more off of this. If we expand again, fold that into what we're doing expand again fold that into what we're doing then every harvest of this we should be able to afford a new field and then once we have all of this working we should make money quickly to be able to afford that yes that is a great plan i'm doing a good job thank you what do we got growing over here right now we've got a little canola some soybeans are those potatoes? I mean, we'll wait till the potatoes are harvested to buy those. Barley in that one. What is red? Is that beets? We got red beets and parsnips. Yeah, so all of those, because I don't want to buy a new harvester. So the red beet, parsnip, and potatoes. We'll wait and buy those after they're harvested. Just because then I don't have to deal with the stuff that's in them. Uh, soybeans, canola, and barley. I'll try to buy when or just before they're ready to harvest. Which, barley will be ready in July. Canola also in July. Then soybeans not until September. Because I don't want to... 
I don't want to get rid of the crops that are on there. We'll actually harvest them. So a plan on saving up, maybe buying all three of those in June. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I know that was a lot of field work, but that'll be the most massive amount of field work we do at once, I think. Um, trying to combine all three of those at one time. The rest of it should all be one small field at a time. So it shouldn't take nearly as long. But I appreciate you being here. I hope you had fun. I did. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.